Hello everybody, I just want to share my testimony with you for how we saved our home and how we had help from so many people from all over the world and yeah, here goes. So on the 10th of December 2019, we put out a cry for help on Backup Buddy, which is a crowdfunding platform, with the help of a very dear friend of mine, Erica Heldnais, who I don't know how we would have done this without her. And um, we needed to raise 75,000 rand to avoid auctioning of our house on the 20th of January 2020. The actual amount that we needed to raise was 69000 and something, but Backer Buddy advised that we add their commission amount just to avoid not raising the full amount and then getting to sixty nine. but when they deduct their commission, then we still get to the auction. So, um, yeah, but here's my testimony. And before I start, I just want to read you scripture from 1 Peter 3, verse 15. But in your heart, regard Christ as the Lord of your life, and be ready at any time to give a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. When anybody asked us, how are you going to get, how do you get through this? We just said, you know what, God will help us. God will provide. God is like our rock and our foundation. Although you don't really know how he's going to do that, you still know that we will not lose our home. And to explain that to people, it's a really hard thing to do. But in your heart, you know, you just know that you will survive this and you will come through this with... I think I shed like two liters of tears through my eyes and the amount of crying I've done in December is just insane. But anyway, yeah, so in total we needed to raise 69,000 rand, but Backer Buddy advised that we should add their commission. Otherwise you get to 69,000 and then they deduct their commission and then you miss your target and then the bank will still auction your house. But um, EFSA actually said, the bank actually said that if we raise 69,000 rand, then they will not... Um, go forward with the auction on the 20th of January 2020. The actual arrears amount that we are outstanding on our bond, not my total bond, just the arrears amount, is actually 110,000 Rand. But this is where the true miracle comes in. Um, I'm going to read another scripture. Titus 2 verse 13 to 14 reads, We look forward that the hope we cherish becomes a reality and that the glory of God becomes visible to all. So this is my declaration about how visible God has worked in our life in the last couple of months. I mean, um, yeah, so we needed to raise 110,000 rand. So there were still a few people who couldn't deposit the money via the website, via Backer Buddy's website. They it wouldn't accept their credit card or there was some issue somewhere. So they asked whether they can deposit the money straight to me. So I, for, so I provided my bond account number to them and they deposited the money directly into my bond account but I never really knew what was going on in my bond account because I don't get a statement from them so um, I visited the, the bank a few weeks after we started the campaign and 41,000 rand was deposited straight into my bond account together with the 69,000 rand which we needed from back of buddy that accumulates to 110,000 rand, which is the exact amount that we needed to save our house. Or, well, not the amount to save our house was 69, but I mean, 110 was the exact amount how far we were in arrears. And I just burst into tears because I just know this is from God. It's God's work through all his angels and all his people that just helped us. And, um, yeah, so that's the first testimony. Now, the second testimony is... My husband, who was awarded an amazing two-year contract, he signed the contract today, and um, it's in Rustenburg, so we still need a few things. I don't know how we're going to get there, but yeah, he needs a work where anyway. But so yeah, he um, this morning he said he doesn't know how he's going to get there because he doesn't have a four by four, he doesn't have a vehicle, and because the work's in Rustenburg, you know, he still needs to get to Rustenburg as well. So I told him, just calm down, dude. God will provide. He's been helping us so faithfully through all of this. So just calm down. And um, yeah, so this morning they phoned him afterwards and asked him to start on Monday. And he must please come to the office to collect the vehicle and a field card. And I just like, I just thank you, Lord, because usually with a work contract of two years, it's not permanent employment, it's just a contract. You have to provide everything yourself. You don't get a work vehicle. So we are just so grateful. And um, lastly, I just want to thank everybody who has given us donations and food and help, even with Jasmine stationery for school this year for grade one. People sent us Christmas gifts to give our child. The amount of 
help and donations we've received through all of this hard time and how people's hearts have just opened up towards us. It's just, we've been so blessed. Thank you so much. And I'm going to leave you with the last scripture. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. Yes, God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you have more than enough of everything, every moment and in every way. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. So my prayer is that God overflows you with abundance and just just to continue doing all the great work that you have done and just thank you all so much from the bottom of our heart. Thank you to our family and to all our friends and to even people that we don't know that's helped us. I'm forever grateful. You helped us save our home. Thank you.